This quick guide will walk you through connecting one audio source as an input, one pair of speakers for Zone 1, and the WGW SLX gateway to control the system with the HDD Home Audio app. With the Link system, you can attach multiple music sources that are available to be listened to in any zone. In this example, we'll be using a Wi-Fi music streamer. Before powering on the Link controller, connect your audio source to source input number 8 for Link 6 or number 14 for Link 12. Using the included cable, connect the WGW SLX gateway to the Link audio controller. Also, connect an Ethernet cable to the router broadcasting your network, or follow the instructions in the manual to connect the gateway wirelessly. Using RCA cables, connect the Zone 1 variable out on the Link controller to the corresponding amplifier channels. The amplifier will power the speakers for this zone. Run speaker wire from the amplifier to your Zone 1 speakers. Connect the wire securely to the amplifier's outputs. We recommend using banana plugs to make the process easier and so you can easily make adjustments at any time in the future. Plug the mono 3.5mm trigger cable into trigger out on the link controller and in on the amplifier. Make sure that on your amplifier the power switch is set to trigger. Using trigger mode will allow the amplifier to remain in sleep mode until a zone is powered on. This lowers power consumption when the system isn't being used. For Link 12 systems, we include a separate 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable to go from one amp to the other. The smaller end goes to the first amp, and the larger one goes into the second. Connect power to the Link controller, then the WGW SLX gateway, amplifier, and Wi-Fi music streamer. Ensure both the Link controller and amplifier are turned on. Note that source 8 is being used on the Link 6, and source 14 on the Link 12. This is because sources can be located throughout the home and connected over Cat5 or higher cable. These sources are assigned source values of 1 through 6 on the Link 6 and 1 through 12 on the Link 12. This can be accomplished with one of our source input panels. For example, you can connect the flexible input panel, the flip, in one of your zones behind a television, allowing you to get the audio from that television back to the system so it can be selected as a source to listen to in any zone of the house. Any input panel can be home run directly to your Link system or run in line with one of our optional Link Touch wall controllers. Using Cat5 or above cable, an optional Link Touch can be plugged into any zone, allowing control of that zone from within the room. You now have everything wired to get audio out of Zone 1 using your Wi-Fi streamer as the source. Now, let's get the Home Audio app and the Wi-Fi streamer set up. Make sure your phone or tablet is on the same Wi-Fi network that the router connected to the WGW SLX gateway is using. Now go to the App Store or Google Play Search for HTD Home Audio and install the HTD Home Audio app. Once you open the app, it should automatically scan your Wi-Fi network to search for the whole house audio system and display the IP address of the gateway under systems nearby. Side note, with iOS, you may have to allow permissions for the app to communicate with devices on your network. If this is needed, you will receive a pop-up requesting permission and you should tap allow. Tap on the IP address displayed under systems nearby and you'll be prompted to give the system a name. The default is My House, but you can change this if you prefer. Once connected, you'll see the system status page. This is where you can control whether a zone is on or off, adjust the volume, and select the audio source for the zone. With app installation and connection complete, you're now ready to set up your Wi-Fi streamer. Install and open the app for the Wi-Fi streamer. Using the in-app prompts alongside the included documentation, complete the setup. You can now send music from your phone or tablet into the system to listen to in any zone of your home. To begin listening on the system, open your preferred music streaming service, select the Wi-Fi streamer to send the music to, power on zone number 1 in the Home Audio app, select Source 8 for Link 6 or Source 14 for Link 12, and tap the volume number to adjust the volume. Congratulations! You now have your HTD system set up with zone number 1 connected and running. Follow the same steps to connect the remaining speakers and any other audio sources you'd like. You'll likely want to take advantage of additional features in the HTD Home Audio app. Use it to create unique names for your zones and sources, adjust treble and bass for each zone, limit which zones and sources are available to each user, and display shortcuts to popular streaming services. Advanced features allow you to create macros that execute multiple commands across all zones from a single button press, and set up control via Alexa, Google Home, and Siri. Follow the link on screen or in the description below to learn more. For more information or to contact us directly, visit htd.com.